man, just came in right away. You know, just you look at his 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 frame. Um, 250. I think the thing, you know, in the summertime, and I noticed during it throughout the course of the year, like like halfway through the year, I'm like, man, he, he really got in tip top condition. You know, he was really, really in good shape. And uh, I, I say this about Paulo because, you know, these these GMs call you, scouts call you. Paulo is a gym rat. He's a gym rat. I mean, you, he's the guy you got to kick out of the, out of the gym. And so, I mean, which is, you know, for a young guy, you know, and he playing 38, 39 minutes a game, he'll come back and, you know, he want to practice and get extra work done. He's like, yo, man, you got to go. You got to go. And that's what I, and he's a hooper's hoop. And, and I, I say that meaning like a lot of these guys, they play, they'll work out, be in the gym, and then they'll go home and play video games all day, all day. <laughs> 2K, whatever, you know, whatever they're doing. Paulo, he, he, I'm not saying he doesn't play video games, but he's watching a lot too, like the old school, you know, we play, go outside and play and watch Magic, Bird, showing my age a little bit, but like we were watching play, play and watch. Paulo is one of the, one of the, one of those guys. He, he loves it, man. He loves it. So you're getting a guy who puts in the work in the gym unselfish teammate. I mean, him and Zion, since I've been back, are the two guys that could have, ego-wise, could have been really bad teammates, really selfish. Man, he was he was inclusive, always big up in his teammates. You know, AJ have a great game. He's the happiest. Trev, Roach, Wendell, Mark, like, really, really selfless in that matter, man. And so, for him to have the type of year in the, you know, Final Four, you know, we made the final four and he was he was the main piece. You know, you get when you're the biggest guy in high school, and you know, you're able to, you know, with his frame just overpower in college, that's that's not gonna happen. And so I thought a, a huge key for us, I thought last year was having Theo John and Bass Jones. So you got you got two guys who are old, man. They're old and they beat them up every day. So what happened was like he struggled a lot in the summertime. Like we playing and Bates would, you know, strip him a lot and body him and Theo would do the same thing. And they kept coming. I, and I thought, you know, with the reps, I thought he got he adjusted to that. And, and in turn, you know, in the games, he was able to get to the foul line and play more physical. And so as the year goes on, you know, you get into the tournament eight, postseason you know, conference tournament and then the, the NCAA tournament I mean, the games are battles, man. And uh, he, you could tell, man, he just, you know, through, through those practice reps and going against those guys after practice, post-practice, he was able to adjust. So I thought that was the biggest adjustment for him was the physicality. He became more physical and then he started putting his shoulder into people as and, and you know, and that frame, you know, you get hit. You're a big dude, man. You're a big dude, and so he was able to adjust and have a, like I said, man, an unbelievable freshman year. You know, I talked to Paulo the other day for like 25 minutes, as long as I ever talked to him. You know, like, <laughs> and we're talking, we're talking about that. Like, man, they saying this, see, they saying that, they saying this, and you know, the NBA, like those guys, it, they different. You know, they they're different up there, and so. With a guy like Paulo, you kind of got to break them down, so to speak. You know, they're gonna see, they're gonna force something. You know, that's that's. You know, this guy is nineteen years old, man. Like nineteen. What player is is? They all got flaws. They all have flaws. And I, and for Paulo, I guess you look at him, man. You look at his body type. He's the most developed physically. Uh, really, no holes in his game. Besides, you know, you can say the shooting. You got to become a more consistent shooter. But these guys are not finished products, man. They, it takes time. And I think, I think, but that's 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 part of it, though. You know, that's part of the whole draft process. You know, it, they've been doing this for the, they, they love, I think they love getting off on it, to be honest with you. They love to create these storylines and narratives, uh, which is good, which is good, because now it's going to keep a guy like Paulo. You know, like it's going to keep him in the gym.
sometimes if you like, oh, then you start, maybe not, maybe you don't go as much, but they, it's, it's motivation. And so I, I, I kind of like it a little bit.